Okay, so condensing logarithmic expressions. This is the same piece of work that we were looking at last time we talked, and I want you to, if you didn't see the expanding logarithmic expressions video, maybe go back and watch that, but if not, let me catch you up quickly. Here are these three properties of logarithms that we're going to talk about today. I'd like you to really focus on this, uh, on this little detail here. Let b, u, and v be positive numbers such that b is not equal to 1. So the first product, uh, the first property says this, it's the product property that says that if we have log base b of u times v, it is the equivalent of saying log base b of u plus log base b of v. And here's some, some proof of why that might be true. We remember that logarithms are another way of expressing exponents, and we know that if we had 3 squared times 3 to the third power, we'd have 3 to the 3 plus 2 power, kind of the first um, property of exponents, isn't it? Similarly, we have this, the quotient property says that we have log base b of u over v. It's the same as log base b of u minus log base b of v. Again, using the very simple example, 3 to the third power divided by 3 to the second power. Using the second rule of exponents is 3 to the 3 minus 2 power, otherwise known as 3 to the first power. And then we throw in this extra kind of cool rule, this uh, power property. It says that log base b of u raised to the power of n is the same as n times log base b of u. So what happened, how this n got here is that it went from here and was rolled forward. Those of you who, uh, who do calculus have seen something similar to this um, rule used in another way. So, okay, let's try some examples. So let's condense. Condense the expression. And let's try that a little bit. How about this? Condense log base 5 of 8, base 5 of 8, minus log base 5 of 12. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that the bases are the same, and they are. This is base 5, and this is base 8. So we're going to use rule number 2, right? And we're going to get log base 5 of 8 over 12, aren't we? Of 8 over 12. And 8 over 12, of course, geez, I hate that. <laughs> it had to be some, you know, it had to be in a form you could simplify. And 8 over 12 is 2 thirds, isn't it? So of 2 thirds. So there's our answer to that one. Let's move on and do another. So there's our first example. Let's try another one. And let it be this example right here. Um, let's do this. How about this? ln of x plus 5 ln of y is equal to what? Well, let's look at this thing for a second. I guess first thing I'm going to use is rule 3. Can you see it? I'm going to take this 5 right here, right? If you look at rule this right here. We're, remember, we're starting from here and we're going this way. So here's, this is this, isn't it? It's this value here. So where did it come from? It came from here, right? So I'm just going to roll this back up to here. I'm going to start my rewrite as ln of x plus ln of y to the fifth power. And then hopefully you can see from there it gets pretty easy, doesn't it? Okay. So from here we just get this is plus, so we get ln of x y to the fifth power, don't we? ln of x, y to the fifth power. So, hopefully that was good for you. Let's try another one. Okay. Let's try one more. Maybe two more. So let's condense this one. Let's condense 10 log of x, remember if you don't see the base, that the base is automatically 10 here, isn't it? Plus 2 log of 10. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? All right, let's take a look at this for a second. I'm going to move some stuff around. I'm just going to take this one piece at a time. I'm going to take this using rule number 3. I'm going to put this back up here, right? Here, I'm going to put this back up here. So here we're going to get log of x to the 10th power, aren't we? And then here we're going to get plus 
log of 10 squared This goes to 100. 10 squared is 100, isn't it? And then remember, it's because of this addition sign, it's, addi it's multiplication, right? So we get log of 100 x to the 10th power. All right, hopefully that suits you pretty good. Try one more if you'd like. Let's do one more. Hopefully this is, this is the way you guys are going to get really good at this, is just hang in there and keep doing the examples over and over and over again and as you do you'll get really good at it so let's try this one let's try 3 ln of 3 minus ln of x plus ln of x minus ln of 9 wow that's a lot isn't it So, what are we going to do here, do you think? Let me see. All right. Take a second. Take a look at this for a second. All right. So let's look at this really quickly, see what we do here. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this and get 3 ln of 3 minus 3 ln of x, right, times, that's this. This is going to be ln of x over 9, isn't it? I'm going to fix all this because I'm going to just put these things back and using rule number 3 here gives me ln of 27, because 3 cubed is 27, minus gives me division. Whoops, this ln doesn't belong there. ln belongs out in front. And then this, 3 to the third power is, well, 3 to the third power, times ln of x over 9, right? 27 over 9 equals 3, so equals ln of 3 x over x squared over x cubed is x squared so is our answer wow that was really uh that was really a cool one uh, give me your commentary love to hear from you keep working on this you're going to get good always go back as you're working through this and work on your on those three properties they'll really really pay off for you so good work